Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another beer review. Um, we're inside still because it is still miserably hot. Um, I was hoping it was going to cool off this weekend, and it just didn't. So, um, yeah, I wanted to do a beer review. I just got back from um, the Lost Abbey Duck Duck Goose release, which was awesome. Had an amazing time and drank some amazing, amazing beer. So, I'm um, not sure when I'm going to review that beer. I think I'm going to sit on it. The taster that I had was it was good, but I'm hoping the bottles are a little different. So, I think I'm going to sit on it for a while. But um, awesome, awesome stuff. I've been drinking. I've been drinking sour beer with my sister and uh and her boyfriend all day so um wanted to drink something hoppy and figured I've, I've been on a west coast beer kick lately so um tonight from my man wes thank you sir for sending this um this is freak of nature from wicked weed they're in north carolina i think is it Asheville? i think it's Asheville, north carolina um yeah Asheville. this is is this eight i think it's eight yeah eight and a half percent alcohol by volume uh this is their double ipa and a lot of people seem to love this beer. So I've never had this beer before. Really, really looking forward to it. Um, I know, I want to say last year, Chris from Beer Geek Nation said this was one of the best hoppy beers that he had. Um, Darwin just reviewed it a little while ago. I don't think he liked it as much. So um, like I said, I've been on a West Coast kick lately. Not that I'm like juiced out from these New England beers, but I just, I've been really, really enjoying getting back to like West Coast beer. So um, Wes, thank you so much for sending this. And without any further ado, let's get into it. Yeah, sorry for being inside again. I just, I can't be in the garage. It's miserable. I can smell that. Um, this was bottled on July 26th. He actually sent this. I've had it for a couple weeks. I just, I'm so far behind with beer reviews. Um, today is the 20th, so we're still like right at three weeks old, so... Um, holding up to light, it's crystal clear. There's a little bit of a chill, uh, chill haze, but it's that cool, like little, like that tangerine kind of, it's a light color. Um, it's not quite like I, some of the West coast beers I've drank recently are like much more like that caramel kind of reddish multi color. This one's, um, like I said, it's got a little bit of a chill haze on it still, but it's like that straw kind of golden color. It might look a little bit darker on camera, but I could smell that as soon as I opened it. So let's go ahead and shove our nose in it. Oh, that's dank. That is dank and earthy and resinous and floral. It's piney. Um, and then it's like grapefruit citrus, like orange peel, grapefruit peel. This, I mean, it says, I think it says it's a West Coast style beer. I'm pretty sure it's a West Coast style beer. Um, but yeah, it's West Coast for sure. We just had, I just reviewed Pliny a couple weeks ago with Nathan. And this reminds me of that it's just, and I was talking to shoot, who was it? So I was talking to someone in the comments um, and he was like, what is, what does dank mean? There's no, like, I don't know what that means. And we joked about it in the, are you afraid of the dank video? Dank is just dank. Like dank is what you recognize it being. Um, for me, it's Nathan has said it. It's like smelling a bag of pot. It's like, um, it's like smelling hops. Uh, I've gotten boxes with like hop pellets in it. It's like smelling that. It's just, it's dank and it's resinous. And it's, this is like piney. You do get that bready kind of sweet malty thing, which is awesome with this because it's so dank and it's so citrusy, grapefruit, orangey that it just, it kind of balances it out. So, um, I am stoked to check this one out, Wes. Thank you so much, sir. Cheers. Wow, that is hoppy. That is super hoppy. It's, it is super, super dank and resinous and earthy. Almost like dirty. Yeah, it is. But yeah, it's, it is, it's like, it would, I would imagine like if you were chewing on like hops, like that's what that is. That is just crazy in your face, dank resinous earthy um it is like eating chewing on grapefruit peel orange peel it's like chewing on it and letting it sit on your tongue super it is it's just it's that crazy west coast just huge punch your tongue like bitterness this is insanely like this is so west coast this, i love this right now like these are the beers that i've missed <clears throat> 
Um, like I said, juicy beers, the juice bombs are awesome. I love those beers, don't get me wrong, but I've gotten to a point where I've drank so many of them the last year and a half that I've like, I've missed these kind of beers. Um, this is just like, it's next level hoppy, resinous, dank. I know I keep saying the same thing, earthy, piney, grapefruit, orange, citrusy. Um, I don't know what the IBUs are on this. I don't know if it says it on the bottle, but it's a it's a fairly bitter beer. It's not messing around. Um, this isn't a beer that you'd be able to sit and like drink three or four of them. Your tongue would just be fucking done. It would be dead. Your mouth would be dead. So um, this is a beer right now, a style of beer that I love. I'm really, really enjoying this. So if you like West Coast style beers, um, you'll love this. This is kind of in the vein of Pliny. This is kind of in the vein of Enjoy By. Um, it's not quite a, like I had, what did I just have? Oh, I had, I didn't do a review on it because I didn't like it very much, but Stone just did their 20th anniversary. That one was much more malty, but you do get like that crazy hoppy, just bitter in your face, on your tongue, like you're eating grapefruit rind. Um, like I said, piney, resinous, earthy, dank. Crazy, crazy stuff. I love this. So um, that is Freak of Nature from Wicked Weed Brewing, Asheville, North Carolina. If I'm giving this a grade, I'm really, really digging this. And again, it's just a style preference that I like right now. So for me, this is like 96, 97, 96 probably. Um, mid A to A plus beer. I would absolutely drink this again. If I was in Asheville, I would buy this every time I saw it. Um, don't know how this ages. I'm not sure. Not ages, but I don't know. A, a lot of people say like with West Coast beers, like with Pliny and Joy by after 30 days or whatever, they kind of fall off. Don't know what this does, but um, I will say there's like a little bit of like bready kind of biscuity thing, like a, just a slightly sweet thing since I've been talking on the finish. It's, it's nice. It's the balance just with all that crazy in your face hoppiness. Um, don't know if this would go more like more towards a malt kind of a bomb as it kind of, you know, got into like month and a half, two months, two and a half months. They always say 90 days, but who knows? Um, but yeah, awesome, awesome stuff. 96 from me, Wes. Thank you so much for sending this one. Um, and yeah, that's it. I'm out of here, guys. If you've had this beer, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Cheers. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes.